Hey, what's up? Welcome to this After Effects tutorial. Today we're gonna create a stars effect without using particles, plus a bonus flower and petals effect that we will create from this as well. So let's get right into it. First up, let's create a white solid. Control Y. Okay, and let us precom this. We'll name it Starry. Uh, let's so let's look for the star burst. This is a CC star burst. So let's just play, and then you can see what this are uh, this uh this does uh, in the default settings. And voila, you have a Star Wars effect straight away, and you can. Stop watching the video and let's go into our settings here. Uh, we can bring up the scatter. I'm at 700 ish. My speed, I'm leaving it at 1 for now. We can adjust the grid spacing, it is up to 32. Let's go to 10, our size as well. So I'm bringing my size up to about 240, 250 here. I am on a 30 second timeline. So how this speed works, I have realized is that I can go as I can go as slow as uh, 0 0.2 and it works on a 30 second timeline on multiples of 0 0.2 so I can do 0 0.2, I can do 0, 0 0.4 and then it should should loop here so so it loops and 0 0.4 we can do 0 0.6 we can do 0 0.8 1 1.2 1.4 and so on and it, it works on a 30 second timeline i'm not i've not found any other way to tweak it such that it loops nicely next up we i i want to add a little rotation to this variation so now it's moving towards us i want to add a a spinning kind of rotation here what i'm gonna do i'm gonna double my size of my solid so, so with i'm just gonna do a times two and then it doubles everything make sure your aspect ratio is a uh, lock so now i have a double size of this I'm gonna press R for my rotation and because I'm on a 30 second timeline I want to do one rotation 360 degrees that will give me 12 degrees so I'm gonna press Alt click on my stopwatch I am gonna do a time times 12 so every second it adds on 12 degrees and when it reaches 30 second it will go back to here it will go back to zero degrees and then that will give me my loop okay next up uh, okay so, so just to so just to get an idea of how it looks like it it adds another layer of movement to this instead of just moving towards us it's also rotating so it's more dynamic okay next up i want to change the color let's go to the curves let's add a curves to my layer here I want a kind of a magenta reddish look so I'm pushing down my greens going to my reds increasing my reds a little and see if I can brighten this let's go down to my Gaussian let's look for my Gaussian blur so see what this does so it just fades it just a little give it a little bit of blurry effect next up let's add the let's add a glow for my glow let's tweak the settings a little i am bringing down my threshold to about 20 percent my glow radius let me bring it up and yes this is this is kind of the effect i am trying to go for bring up the intensity so currently on the glow i am on 20 percent threshold 129 radius and 1.9 intensity we can always tweak that later so i want my my color to come out a bit more let me bring my curves all the way down 
and you can see the purple, the purple and the magenta coming out. Let's go back to our previous comp here. Let me solo this, our stars, so you can kind of see how it looks. I want more glows, so let me press Ctrl D to duplicate this. For this other layer on top, I'll change the mode to add, and then it's uh, much brighter now. But I'm gonna use it to fade it out and give more glow effects. So let's go to our Gaussian blur again. Let's add on our cross blur as well. For our cross blur, let me see if how it looks like with a uh, add. And I like to do this a uh, radius x, and maybe not both y x and y maybe just x alone and repeat each pixels for both i might have forgotten to do it previously here hopefully it doesn't make much of a difference so let's come back here i'm gonna reduce the gaussian blur a little because past a uh, past a certain limit we get this lines over here because of the blur so just tone it down a bit and it should be fine so we're almost done with the starry effect here it really depends on the look of the scene that you're building you can you can change up your starburst which is your base so we can always bring down the scatter give you more balls bring down the grid spacing keep in mind to adjust the glow as you do this and then scrub through so that you can see if there's any issues with all this it's a very dreamy kind of effect that we are going for and then check this when we add the extra layer of glow we might want to bring down the glow intensity here and see what fits for your scene that you're building so let's go back to our previous settings, uh, something like that. And for our bonus, we are doing a pedal effect. Pedal, no. Turbulent. Turbulent displace. Uh, so our turbulent displace on the same white solid here. Let's change it to twist. Let's bring the size down. Uh, now at 68, let's bring the amount down to 32 uh, let's bring up the complexity to about 3 3.8 I'm now at 3.8 and then let's play with it I mean let's play let's play all right so let's take a look at how this looks jang, 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 jang. so of course it's not actual petal particles that we are creating we're just creating the the effect and the look of petals because of how this uh, turbulence turbulent displays uh, what's this yeah turbulent displays uh, made it to look like is uh, it's not realistic is has an organic and dreamy look and feel to this and so it's, it's a simple way simple way to create something different uh, but of course it's not uh, it, it takes uh, quite a while to load takes quite a while to render oh yes it, it depends on the previous settings that you have did for your starburst so keep in mind if 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 you have more scatter or if you have more of these particles you might want to retweak this a little of the displacement and one more thing we can do for the displacement is to set an evolution. So let's go to our evolution. Let's cycle the evolution. Go to zero. Keyframe this. Go to 30. Keyframe as one. And when we go back, zero. And it should add a bit more of a movement to this and cycle this animation let's go back to our comp 
and when it comes together with our ad, uh, when we stack on the ad effect here with the Gaussian blur and the cross blur, it's up to you how you want to, uh, what kind of effect you want to create. But yeah, it gives a, a very dreamy look that I, I really I really like. It may not it may not really fit with the the rest of the scene that we have previously created. I haven't decided what I'm gonna create next. Maybe I'll take a few weeks break. Uh, if you have any suggestions, uh, maybe something totally new, just uh, write in the comments. And thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.